Like, are we going to be multiplying or are we going to be dividing? Because we know that 12 is 12 times 2 is 24. So we were like thinking upon that idea. At Jefferson, we are developing a math philosophy that's rooted in two very different approaches. Kathy Fosno's Context for Learning and New York State's Modules. It's amazing to see the positive impact that our work is having on our students. And she said, well, everybody got a different amount. Some people got, some people ate more lunch and some people had less lunch. And I said, I don't understand what you mean. Tell, tell me more. She said, well, we all got the submarine sandwiches that the school gave us. But we started talking about it at the Museum of Natural History when we got there. And some people said they had a lot of pieces and some people said they didn't have that much to eat. So then I got to thinking, hmm, this could be a really interesting problem for my students. Did some people get more to eat than other people? Distinguishes the Common Core standards from prior standards are the mathematical practices. So the investigations that we've been doing with the Context for Learning have really enabled students to make sense of problems and persevere in solving them. So you'll see the investigations have multiple entry points and they allow the students to arrive at the same solution using different methods. This is, you know, an exciting way for teachers to teach mathematics, but also an exciting way for kids to learn. We open number life as a model. We could make the race any length we want. So if I were working with fourths and thirds, what number works easily with thirds and fourths? Ten seconds, talk to a friend. So which fraction's bigger, one-third or one-fourth? Danae? I think one-third is um, greater because it has bigger miles. Okay, good thinking. Okay, so we're going to go on to the next division problem in our string. And remember, we're using strategies of halving and doubling to find for our quotient. Okay? So think about this one. 1,200 divided by 24. And show me a quiet thumb when you think you know. The module training was invaluable. I learned so much about the Common Core standards. Not just the outcomes, but the concepts behind those outcomes. We use what we consider to be best teaching practices, applying it to the concepts in the module. I want you to watch me as I go through the problem solving steps to help me solve a word problem. This is a word problem that every teacher goes through in the beginning of every school year. We're told how many students we have. And then we gotta figure out how to organize you guys into a class, into seats, into groups. A classroom has tables that seat a total of 24 students. Four students are seated at each table. The teacher had to figure out how many tables they're going to need in the classroom. Let me tell you part, so I can stop the lot. Jefferson, we are a professional learning community. We want the best for all of our children. Three? I think the answer is three. Three what? <laughs> 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 <laughs>